Although the rough and dangerous shores, the trackless surface, and the perennial rain of this island are repulsive to the general traveller, the geologist will here meet with appearances of such interest as to induce him to brave its tempests, and to defy the toil which he must encounter in its investigation. The exhumed Paleocene volcanoes of northwest Scotland and northeast Ireland have been the subject of detailed investigations for nearly 200 years. These areas have been used as a testbed for our understanding of a wide range of volcanic processes. Interpretations of the rocks in this area have been fundamental to the early developments of igneous petrology and volcanology. In particular, the intrusive and extrusive rocks that comprise the British and Irish Paleocene Igneans province have acted as a testing grounds for models and theories of magmatic processes. The British Irish Paleocene Igneans province is composed of several igneous centres and associated large lava fields that occur within a relatively narrow zone, about 50 kilometres in width. The province stretches from the small island of Lundy in the Bristol Channel, through Carlingford, Sleeve Gullion, the Mourne Mountains and the Antrim Lavas in Ireland, to the Isle of Arran, the Isle of Mull, the Ardnamurkin Peninsula, the Isle of Rum, the Isle of Skye, and to St Kilda in the very northwest of the province. Rum has received a lot of well-deserved public interest in this spectacular wildlife, whereas comparatively little general attention has been focused on the geology, the foundation of the island. The Forbidden Island, however, has been under intense geologic study for well over a century. From initial early studies of late 19th century, right up to the present, the island still attracts geologists and students from around the world who are continuing the research into the island's fascinating and unique volcanic history. The episode of igneous activity on Rum can thus be summarised as initial rapid doming above the surrounding rolling landscape, called era collapse, accompanied by giant catastrophic ash flow eruptions, a renewed build-up of a large volcanic edifice, accompanied by a rising magma chamber that ate its way up and through the earlier volcanic sequence, until finally all was laid bare by rapid erosion. This whole complex sequence of events occurred within less than one million years. Much later, thick sheets of ice gave the island a final sculpting to produce the spectacular landscape that we see today. After the ice receded, about 10,000 years ago, the modern flora and fauna of Rum started to colonise the island, and man arrived shortly thereafter, with some of the earliest post-glacial evidence of human settlement within the British Isles preserved near Kinloch, and dated to about 8,500 years ago. The rich mix of plants and animals that populate the hills of Rum live in a substrate that has been carved out of the deep heart of an ancient, 60 million year old volcano, thus providing a window into the detailed interior working of volcanoes, and allowing geologists to improve and further our understanding of active, modern volcanic systems. <laughs>